Hey, welcome. We are going to begin teaching Ringo how to load in a trailer today. And I say begin because I kind of doubt that we'll get him in the trailer on the first day, and that's not even our goal. Our goal today is just to get him where he's not totally terrified of the trailer. If he goes in, that'll be a bonus. If not, we'll come back tomorrow and work on it some more until he's comfortable with the idea. But this is how I do this, just starting slow and introducing it to, it, to him. I have, over the last probably couple of times, just brought him out when the trailer was parked and just led him around it. And the first day he was snorty, snorty, snorty. The second day he was looky, looky, looky. So he should be a little better today when we just start taking him up by the trailer. And Kristen's here, so I'm gonna have her do the work and I'm just gonna stand behind the camera and maybe give her a little bit of guidance. So there's really no set formula here. You just kind of watch the horse and see how he reacts. If he starts looking like he might be curious over there, then we'll let him slow down. And then I'll try different things. For example, when he's over by the trailer, kind of lower your body energy. And when he's away from the trailer, lift your energy. So like right now, kind of start shaking that rope and just kind of, yeah, a little more. And now take it down. Relax. Now energy up, up, pressure, 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 pressure. Now down. Okay. Now pressure up, pressure, 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 pressure. Now drop it. Okay, you see what we're doing? We're making him think that being over by the trailer is more comfortable than being away from the trailer. Okay, pressure right now. Pressure, 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 pressure. Now let it off. Okay, that's fine. Let him rest over there. He got a little scared, which is okay. Lead him back over by the trailer. See if he'll go a little closer this time. There. Okay, take him away from the trailer. Okay, put him to work. Do the same thing, pressure him when he's away and then relax him when he's closer. Okay, and it won't take very much of this and he'll start wanting to stop over there. Okay, now I'm gonna send him away. We're starting to get there. He's starting to think maybe I can just stop right here. Okay. So we've been doing this, what, about 20 minutes? So it took us 20 minutes to get him to want to stand right there. And now he's not loaded in a trailer, <laughs> but he does think that right standing right there might be a good idea. So let's just let him rest. I want him to start hunting it. Uh, I kind of set him up a couple of times there. He's licking his lips. Now he's thinking right now. He shook his head there. That's a sign of relaxing. He's kind of thinking this over. So let's just let him rest for a minute or two. Okay. All right. So now... It looks a lot different to him with the gate open because he can see that dark cave right there. And that's pretty scary looking. So we're gonna do the same thing again. I'd kind of like him to just walk over here. And check it out.
Okay. So on the first day, if this is as far as we get, I'll be okay with that. I think we're going to get a little farther here. I think we can get him to at least put his head in today. Um, but, you know, remember just a few months ago, this was a completely wild horse running loose. He'd never seen a, a, a trailer or a car or a human or a dog or anything like that. So we've asked a lot of him. He's figuring it out, aren't you, bud? Aren't you? There you go. Let's just see what he does if I step up in here. Okay, and I'm not going to pull on him if he doesn't want to come up here. I'm not going to going to try to insist. Good, he's sniffing it. Okay. So now what I'll do, so we'll go back doing the same thing we were doing. That backup's pretty nice. <laughs> I really haven't taught him the backup too much. He kind of figured that out. All right, come on. Let's work. Let's work. Come on. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before, but this time the gate's open. Not yet. I don't want you to go in yet. Now, let's just set him up and see what he does. Oh, kept going. Okay. Okay, I'm all right with that. He's figured out this is the resting spot. Send him the other way. Let's bring him over here. So I let him do that. I let him stop over there. Okay. Notice how much more relaxed he is than when we started. He's dropping his head. He's, he's starting to think a little now. Now set him up, see what he does. Okay, I'm going to come around and set him up, see if he'll think about going in. And this little horse actually leads better than he sends. I kind of prefer to send him in, but I will lead them in. Let's just see what happens if I just try to lead him in. 
he might just be okay with that. Hey, hey, hey. Good boy. Good boy, Ringo. Here we go. So I actually kind of prefer that right there, that he didn't jump all the way in first because I want him to learn to back out as well as load. So we'll work a little more, come back and do it again. <laughs> Thought maybe he was going to jump in that time. He didn't. Okay. Okay, so let's try something a little different this time. Let's try this. I'm going to back him out and just back him straight back about 20 steps. And then we'll just lead him right on in again. Okay. The reason I'm backing him is because horses don't like to back up. It's a very submissive move for them and they just don't like it generally. So it's kind of a, just another way of making him want to be in here. Feeding him a handful of hay here. Okay, let's back up again. Back on up. Just witnessed the first trailer loading for Ringo the Mustang. <laughs> good boy. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Give him some more hay. <laughs> 